Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Black Geyser with me, Bring It On. Off camera, I did reload and redo that fight against Aldnar to get his blade. Yes. Turns out I didn't have to, because if your inventory is full, it does drop outside the guild hall when you spawn outside of it. I just didn't see it. Either way, we now have the blade of the usurper. Gives you plus 4 to dexterity, minus 1 to physique, and plus 11% to critical chance. This magnificent weapon was custom made for Lord Aldnar by the renowned smiths of Darren Gould. Over time, a horrible magical force coursing through his veins seeped into the blade, corrupting it into an instrument of pain for its wielder. Its power, however, is great enough that a truly hungry soul will be unable to put it down. Go ahead. Let's see if we can get rid of that curse. We cannot. Okay. Hmm? That is a significant damage upgrade. Oh, wrong weapon. All right, it's still a significant damage upgrade for Hamlin. He does lose aim and accuracy, but he also gains it through the dexterity. He also loses the hide and sneak bonus, but also gains that through dexterity. Yeah, I think we'll do that for now. We'll hold on to that dagger in case we ever need I never seen. At once. Now we have two new locations to explore. So there's Little Tusk Mountain. And I thought the temple itself was also revealed to us. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's go to Little Tusk Mountain first because the town sounds like that's the main quest's way forward. At once. All right. Let's head to the north. All right, two quest updates. So suggesting that we'll find the pendulum here, I thought we were told the pendulum was in the temple of Avimakudik, which is the name of the town to the southeast. I guess it could be here. And then I guess we can find the pristine Obakechi, Obakesi, however it's pronounced, I don't know. I'm a historian, not a botanist. I at once. Either way, we should be able to find that here as well and take care of that side quest. Would you look at that? I'm listening. Exactly what we need to. Let's just go and leave before we delve too deeply into this area. Turn in that side quest and then return. Alright, back to Franagar. Go and make the Brewer's Day. Get the reward for it and then... See if we can't track down the pendulum. At once. Or whatever else might be on that mountain.
We may have to pay a visit to the tavern since it's nighttime. Unless we're lucky and the brewer is a night owl. We also just skip time. Keep they added that in a pretty recent patch. Can I help you? Ah, welcome back, Brave Wanderer. How goes the search? <laughs> I have. Look. Marvelous. Exactly what I need. Ask for your reward. A pouch of gold and this helmet I wore when I served in the Franagar army. I gave up soldiering the moment I could get back to brewing. Keep tripping over the bloody thing anyway. He seems relatively successful. We'll take the gold and the helmet. Uh, thank you, Olmir. Good luck with your fortified ale. Good work and safe travels. Hope we'll see you in Franagar again soon. Cyclops scalp. Reinforce Cyclops scalp. Plus 12% to pulse and blow resist. Plus 4 to physique. Minus 2 to intelligence. Minus 1 to focus. Grants brickfall 1 per day. Cyclopes are among the strongest of body, but also weakest of mind, among humanoid creatures on Yerengal. Booklore tells of these brutes lifting and throwing an entire hill to chase away any who dare trespass on their territory. Though this account may be exaggerated, their skin is incredibly rugged, all but impenetrable to most weapons. This helmet is the trophy of a warrior who defied the odds and slew one of these creatures, or simply had enough gold to buy it. Many believe that such a piece also lends the strength of a cyclops. Wait a second, is 20 the max physique? Or 20 the max you can have in any... Well, let me just do the math real quick. Only 9 base. Now that adds up to 20. My base went up. Let's take all these off real quick. What is my actual base? Yeah, that's what I thought. It's 14. So yeah, it caps out at 20. If you go over that, it forces your base value to go down to compensate. Now let's do a little bit of optimization here then. That puts me at 20. The rest of these items to be given to other people. I'm listening. I await your instructions. I believe he's the only one that can wear this helmet, so let's give this to him. Max out his physique. But he loses a few resistances. But not a lot. He should still be over 100% for most of them. I'm listening. Yes. Hmm? Go ahead. What do you need? What is your wish? Yes. A beer would be nice. Thank you. What next? Yeah, let's do it this Ready way. Ready to serve. Whatever you say. Who gets the yes, bill? I'm, ready. I'm always ready. This is her intelligence. She's more intelligence than she needs as well. Well, shoot. I'll keep that in mind as we find more gear. I'm not going to worry about. Re-equipping her right now. What do you need? So someone does need this belt. Somehow I'm not afraid to taunt with. I might just keep this on him for now. Because the other effects are also once. really good. But if I find something else, then I know that the at least the physique bonus from the belt won't weigh into my decision making. At once. Also, if I swap back to the hammer for any reason. It's good to have this since it doesn't give me physique. So you know what? Yeah, we'll keep it this way. I await you. Off I go. Can't believe I didn't catch that. So I get for not paying attention. Hmm. 
Hmm? About Hamlin here. How's his uh dexterity looking? Oh cool, he just hit 20. We gave him this blade. Cool. Off also with I go. the new I'm listening there. Ring on. That helps with some of the resistances that I lost by swapping away from the shield, but I can always swap back to the shield if I need them. Hmm? I will lead. I am tempted to give that girdle of might to Helgen Hart instead. He already has the passive taunt chance as a fighter. And we could stack the 25% taunt chance from the girdle with that to make sure that he's the one that's always taunting. What belt does he currently have equipped? I'm listening. No, we'll keep it like this. I await here Again, once. I can always swap back to my hammer and shield. This way I make sure I stay at 20 physique when I do so. There he is, just standing there. <laughs> yes. A uh, hello. Can we talk? It is coming. All right. What is coming? The dark moon. <laughs> Not to be condescending. Uh, what is the Dark Moon? The Dark Moon is an event which will spell the doom of Yerengal. Now nothing may be done to stop it. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the horizon. And that final line is crossed. Chaos will reign. I know why you have come. Ask your questions. I answer as best I can. I've heard about the Pact Prophecy. What I need to know is how to stop what is foretold. I'll tell you how to break the pact between the evil gods. I must also tell you the consequences of your actions. Okay. Uh, what is the disaster that is prophesied to occur when the pact is broken? There are darker things in this world than greed or pride or bloodlust. Madness strives for nothing. Its only principle is to undo. Its only purpose to alter everything to fit its own warped perceptions. The pact must be broken, but to break it is to shiver the pillars of your own gall. Then the world will slide into that same madness and be consumed. And you will be responsible. Me? How will I be responsible? You are the catalyst which calls down the dark. Your decisions have shaped this world around you, and will continue to do so. But some things cannot change. Yours are the lilting notes before the crescendo. And the crescendo will come. What exactly is the pact? Long ago, as the races of Yerengal were being formed, their selfish animal instincts subsided. Some of the gods were full of joy as their creations flourished. Others were disinterested. Still others reacted with alarm. Zornelsa, goddess of greed, and Rothgor the devil god, watched as greed and chaos gave way to charity and order. Without influence in mortal affairs, these entities cannot exist. Thus they formed an alliance to fight back the slowly enroaching morality. They formed a pact, through the influence of Rothgor's minions, issuing forth from a rift in Ismerald known as the Black Geyser. Hey! Azernosa would spread her foul desires throughout the land. Rothgor would receive his own due as the resulting disorder and violence were visited upon the world. What must I do? You must break the pact. There is a castle east of Isselbright, the ancient monument of a forgotten warlord. Within its walls the Black Geyser flows. You must close the rift from which it issues and staunch its evil forever. 
Only gods may do the works of other gods. True. You would not be able to disrupt the Black Geyser on your own. We require divine assistance. It is the only way. How do I find divine assistance? It is not as simple as prayer, unfortunately. You have to discover the answer to this question for yourself. I place my trust in Honorius. I shall pray for us nonetheless. Assuming I locate the Black Geyser, what happens then? You yourself must enter the geyser. Hope we don't have to go through the front door at least. Enter it. So the geyser was rift between Yerengal and the realm of Rothgor, the devil god. That's where he holds dominion. The rift may only be sealed from whence it was opened. If this is truly the only way, then so be it. Challenge Rothgor himself. It is daunting. I will not back down. What happens once the rift is closed? That is beyond my ken. Oh, I am ready. I'll break the pact and close the geyser's black rift. Finish what you must do in this world before you venture to the other. There will be but one chance. Even should you succeed, I uh, know if you will return. Mortals often take comfort in luck. Therefore, I wish you good fortune. Go now. Do what must be done. We will not speak again. Haha, <laughs> we just spoke again. I'm listening. Off I go. The nerd. Really it here? I like this blue color. Yeah, it looks like that's it here. Alright, well to that uh, new town that we saw. I assume we get there from Statwood Pass. Not really a close region. I shall not flag until we prevail. At once. few less horse crawlers in the world. Oh, well, this is that would pass. That was a random encounter. All right. This is a random encounter. <laughs> I shall not fly. Yeah, I'll make it. Your time will come. I await your instructions. At once. All right, nothing to it. The Hamlin did take a small beating, but he's healing. Hmm. What is your wish? Hmm. Vakan, you need only ask. Don't know why he was healing. Is it from the sword? Maybe it has an extra effect that wasn't listed where it drains the health of enemies. Off I go. Let's 
no other reason why he should have been healing there that I can think of. At once. And travel to a neighbor. But I did. I have to enter from the east of Statwood Pass. Let's try that. If not, then we'll go to Darren Gould and see if we can access it from there. Otherwise, I don't know how to get there. A lot of back and forth. Is there an eastern exit? At once. Saying that there is. There we go. I shall not flag. Yes, I'll make it. Well, that's a new enemy type. I await your instructions. I'm lit at once. Hey, yeah, it's healing again. So yeah, I'm assuming that the sword has a heal effect on it. That it's not listed. Also, that's the first time we fought lizard folk in this game. I await your in I shall not flag until yes. we prevail. I'll make it. You're in my way. I'm listening. At once. Yes. Hmm? Off I go. All right, let's take a look around. Here's the temple. Looks like he might be corrupted, as is Linda. Ooh. His blackguards will pay for what they've done. Mark me. The pain gold. And in blood. Well, there you are. You like gold, don't you, uh? Eh. Uh, money, treasure, lucre? Of course you do. Everyone does. I like to earn some coin helping a lady in distress. What do you need done? There are a pair of them. Wretches and scoundrels I thought were my friends. Three of us raided a temple on the mountain, and we agreed to split the gold equally. Well, it turned out the whole the total wasn't divisible by three, thus paid one gold piece less than those criminals. And Rothgar, Rothgar sucked the marrow from their bones. It was all many years ago, you understand, and now I am owed. Owed. I am owed the gold coin that was stolen from me, plus plenty more in interest, as well as a stipend for all my stress and suffering. What are you doing out here by yourself? This place looks long abandoned. Oh, what do you think I'm doing? I'm waiting. I've been waiting for an eternity to make my move on Talgard and Ichthum. Uh, but those two swine are playing the exact same game. Now you, my friend, are the wild card I need. You're free to go whither you, whither you will. You must bring me that gold. 
I'll get your gold back from Tallgarden and ick them. Ah, ha ha ha. Yes, yes, yes. Look for their houses in the town and bring me their treasure chests. You yourself will earn a different kind of reward. Something special for my own trove of artifacts I've been collecting for many years. Let's see. Invoker's Pocket Sling. The plus 4% to pulse and blow, strain and pain, stabbing, slashing, poison and acid, heat, cold, depressive effects, arousal effects, illusion manipulation, resistances. A plus 2% to critical chance, and the chance to inflict charm to the target, 1%. The sling was enchanted by a Convoker. A lucky Shot can turn any foe into a friend. It's also resistant to the elements, and can be equipped with burning or frozen pebbles for extra effect. Seen those before. I'm listening. I await your instructions. Yes. Most of those aren't new. I'm listening. Once. Well, some good loot in there, at least. At least valuable loot. Not really good for us. At once. At once. Alright, Talgert. <laughs> Back at you. Oh, keep your hands on your belt there. Slowly now. I hope you're not some treasure seeker. This place is scavenged to the bone. It belongs to us, and no one else. You're not wanted here, fellow. What are you after? Be quick. What are you doing here, or out here? We've lingered in this forsaken place for decades. We cannot leave. We have to protect what's ours. Traders and explorers pass through every now and then. It's boring always ha eating the same thing, but their meat is enough. And sometimes they have more treasure. Uh, what are you looking to do here? Me and Alinda and Ichthum came to loot this forgotten temple. We thought it was full of treasure, found almost nothing worth keeping, until we stumbled on the horde, when we pushed too far. We were starving, almost dead, but we made it back to the town. Now that's left is to defend our wealth. I'll keep what is mine, said any who interfere to the grave. Came to haggle for your treasure, my good dwarf. Can we work something out? No. Never speak of touching my treasure. It's not funny. But if you wish a reward, bring me my two foes' treasure instead. Yes. Ah, uh, very well. I'll take the chest from the others for you. Good, good. Now go. Do your work. Once. So I guess if for whatever reason you yes. missed, I await your instructions. All the loot up to this point. You 
could equip yourself here. I'm listening. Just I'm kind listening. of shoveling everything you can find throughout the game in your face. <laughs> Besides all like the really powerful stuff. At once. At once. At once. Okay, this way's a dead end. He's gonna find Ichthum and then we have found the whole trio and we decide who we want to side with. Anybody. I'm assuming whoever we side with will get attacked at the end anyway, because they're gonna want uh Well, he's probably gonna want to eat us. She said we'll get a reward of a different kind, which I assume means death. I shall not flag until we prevail. Hmm? From the shadows. Yes, yeah, I'll make it. <laughs> oh. Yes. What is your wish? I'm always ready. Oh, hang in I there. Your instructions. Uh, Hamlin? I'm Go listening. Ahead. A beer would be nice. Down he goes. I'm well, shoot. <laughs> I guess we'll be making a trip back to town in the next what, one. Are you certain? Just pulled him back. I mean, I knew he wasn't going to survive that. He's taking damage far faster than we could replenish his health. What next? Ready to we'll find a solution. Yes. Uh, these scorpions are far tougher than their counterparts were over here. No one stands what against steel. Thing? Go ahead. By steel and stone! Hmm? What next? That's you everybody healthy. Ask. Zakti. I fear neither pain Go ahead. nor death. Zakti. What is We're going on here? Solution. Ready to serve. <laughs> what, I mean, what is hmm? what is going on? Even the mightiest foe. I await your you dare face. Because I'm just not focusing fire. <laughs> Get beat up by a bunch of scorpions. Things that we fought. What is that? Oh, it's that spell that I cast. The animation's go. still going. Go ahead. All right, we're gonna head back to town, back to Isselbright in the next one, and ready to serve. Resurrect Hamlin. <laughs> I'm listening. You need only ask. And we'll probably just have him keep the bow out for a little while, because the scorpions are far stronger than I expected. I and mean, the group over here wasn't nearly that strong. Hmm. Whatever you say. You know what? Just to be safe. What do you need? So grab everything off of him as well. What next? Turn it over into. I'm always ready. Everyone else's stuff. Go ahead. That's okay. All right. Either way, gonna call it here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.